general relativity step by step. I've developed this uh, expression for the riemann christoffel curvature tensor with four downstairs indices in terms of second derivatives of this quantity h, which behaves like a tensor under some circumstances. What I'm going to do now is wonder what happens under a coordinate transform, alpha, beta, mu, nu. Of course, we can't do a general coordinate transform. We could perhaps do a Lorentz transform, but what I want to do is to use one of the uh, small transforms that I was talking about a couple of screencasts ago, where x alpha bar equals x alpha plus a small change to your coordinate system. So that's small. And I call this a gauge transformation. So let's have a look at that. Well, we've got the formula h bar alpha beta, which equals the old one. Which way around was it? It was minus psi alpha comma beta. Actually, I'll write it out in die notation. Di alpha psi beta minus di beta psi alpha. Is that right? Alpha beta, alpha beta, alpha beta. Yes, that's right. So that was the effect of a gauge transformation. And I want to want, what I want to work out now is what the gauge transformation does to this beast here. Okay, well, let's just do that. That is going to be equal to a half of, from here, di mu di beta of h nu alpha, nu alpha minus di nu psi alpha minus di alpha di, no, psi nu. That's that term there, done. This one here is mu and alpha minus di mu, just copying from here, di alpha, and then we've got h beta nu. Actually, I'll do that later. Then I've got mu beta nu, dear, plus di nu beta, nu di beta of h, what was it? Mu alpha, mu alpha, and then we've got a minus, hopefully lots of things will cancel, this term here, nu alpha, di nu di alpha of h beta mu, beta mu. And of course I've got to fill in the, the other terms here. So that's di minus di beta psi nu minus di nu psi beta. This is minus di mu psi alpha minus di alpha psi mu minus di beta psi mu minus di mu psi beta. Now things are better start cancelling out here. They're better. Have I got another bracket somewhere? Yes, I've got to close that bracket there. Let's get my red pen out. We'll start doing some cancelling. Hmm. Not very much cancels inside these brackets here. Actually, I've got my red pen out too soon. And what I need to do is to realise that we have got the old, which indices that I use, alpha, beta, mu, nu. We've got the old one, r alpha, beta, mu, nu, plus a half of some changes here. All I've done is pull out these four terms here and put them into there. That's the old one, of course. So it's plus a half, and hopefully lots of things are going to cancel out. So I've got minus di mu di beta di nu. Uh, no, it's not an h. It's a psi alpha minus mu beta alpha mu beta alpha psi nu. Now things start better cancelling out. You see, I've got this alpha here, 
The only term it can possibly cancel out with is this one here. So this term here has got mu beta nu, and this one here has got mu beta nu in a different order, but of course the order doesn't matter. That's that term. I've got to put a tick over it. Done that one and that one. Now that's a plus di, this term here, mu di alpha di beta sine nu. Minus times minus is a plus di mu di alpha di nu x beta, which is that term and that term there. Oh dear. Plus times a minus is a minus. Di. I've got a new beta. That's a mu. Psi alpha. Minus di. Mu di beta. Di alpha. That term there. Psi mu. Fourth term. What a pain. That's going to be a plus because it's minus times a minus. Di mu di alpha from that term there. That's di beta from there. Psi mu. Minus di nu di alpha di mu psi beta. And I'll get rid of that bracket there. What a mess. Right, oops. Now, what's what's going to happen here? Various stuff's going to start cancelling out. At least it ought to. Uh, let's hope so. Let's see how simple we can get this expression. Right, that term there, I think I talked about this one. This alpha here, we've got... Alpha and alpha, so we've got a mu, beta, nu, we've got a mu, beta, nu in a different order. So that term and that term cancel. Good. This term here is a nu. The only one it can cancel out is this one here. We've got mu, beta, alpha, we've got mu, alpha, beta. Good. They've gone. This term here cancels. We've got a beta, it should be this one. Mu, alpha, nu, mu, alpha, nu, yes. Squiggle cancel, which is this one, and this one I better go as well. Look, we've got a, a mu, new beta alpha, new beta alpha. Yes, yes, that's nice. So the whole thing equals zero. So what I'm going to do now is just to write down what happens. The barred coordinate system equals the unbarred coordinate system. That's nice. It's, I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking about what that means. What, what that means, what we have done is take a coordinate transformation which does not change the tensor. What I have shown here with this line of argument is that not only does the tensor itself not change, but the components of the tensor don't change, and that is important. That is what we're going to use. It's as though I've got this nice vector here in terms of uh, a nice x and y coordinate system. And I've got the same vector expressed in a rotated coordinate system. And of course, the, the, the components change because the co components are in different directions. And so the, the components have changed. Let me write that out a bit more neatly. The components have changed because in the old coordinate system, they go along there and up there. And in the new coordinate system, it's the same vector, supposed to be the same vector, in some kind of rotated coordinate systems. And of course, the components of the vector have, cha have changed. The vector is still the same. What I have shown here is that the components of the riemann christoffel curvature tensor do not change under a gauge transformation. And that's important. They do, the reason they don't change is this rather complicated cancellation. And I'm making use again and again and again and again of the linearity of the approximation. Okay, so what can I do with that? Well, that gives me a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of extra possibilities, which I'm going to use in subsequent screencasts. But for the moment, I'm going to stop there. Stop, 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 stop.